Today I want to talk to you about how anger destroys financial hope. Financial hope, or our desire for financial hope, is often rooted in our desire to prove to others. We want to prove to ourselves that we are worthy, and we use spending as a healing power. Yes, that we are worthy, we use spending as our healing power. We want to prove to others what we have or what we're able to purchase with the money that we earn from the titles that are rented at work. We want to prove to our parents that we can give ourselves what they were not able to give us. Or we want to prove to our parents that we can outdo them because we are angry with them. And I want to share my own personal story because remember last night, Pastor Sarah said, what we really can't speak, we can't heal from, right? Remember that last night? So my personal story is this. When I started working what I would call a decent job, and I started to move up the ranks and earn more money, now realizing it was just a little bit of money, it wasn't a lot of money. And the thing that I wanted, I said to myself, if I get this position, I'm going to buy this car. And I remember my mom saying, Marsha, listen, you're making more money, but you ain't making that kind of money, girl. And I thought my mama was hating on me. I thought she was hating on me, but she was right. To the point, everyone, that I went to the car dealership to get this car. A BMW, by the way, I'll just say that. It's what I wanted. And my sweet husband, stand up husband, over there, I was at the dealership with this man, fussing, arguing at the dealership. <laughs> fussing, you know why? Because I remember him saying, we're not gonna get this car, we're gonna get that Volkswagen. We looked at it. <laughs> we're not gonna get this. And I thought he was hating too. But here's what I discovered. Listen to me, everybody quiet. What I discovered I was about the age of 13, maybe 12, and my parents got a divorce. And when my, when my parents were together, I could get everything. My dad would get me everything that I wanted. It was my brother and I. They got divorced. But when my mom moved, she didn't even have enough money to move like to an apartment of her own or, that's why I love finances so much. I saw what she went through. She couldn't even move to an apartment of her own Definitely not a house of her own. And we moved from a house with my dad. My mom moved us to a trailer. It was a trailer my uncle owned in South Carolina. Shout out to 803, any 803 in here? We moved to that trailer. And I realized that at the time, I could really get nothing. I was junior high school, going to high school, couldn't get graduation pictures, had to get like a borrowed prom dress, all the things. And what I realized is that BMW, that car that I wanted, was a reflection of the things that I never got when I was younger. I never wanted the thing. What I really wanted was maybe the Barbie car when I was younger, or I saw the other girls having like their own cars, driving them, their daddies taking them. So who was I mad at, right? That was my shame part, so now you know my shame. I was mad at my mom and my dad. I was mad at both of them. I don't even know why I was mad, but I was mad at both of them. So what I'm sharing with you is that oftentimes our desire for financial hope never comes to fruition because we are frustrated, we are bitter, we're angry, 
and we never release it. 